Welcome to topic 4, where we are looking at the role of computers in education, the value of ICT. In your own way, do you see computers being important in education? Can you look at ways how computers can be used to support your own subject? Can you come up with the way computers can be used in your area of specialization? As we think of that, let's simply scan through uh, 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 much about how computers can be used in education. So this is part of the support uh, we're providing to give you an exposure on how computers can be used. Uh, policymakers are concerned about how computers in education will benefit society at large, both strategically and in terms of development. In schools, however, most teachers and learners are interested in the direct impact that computers make on their daily lives. The following are seen as the most important benefits of ICT in education. You can see that in education, computers are being used from kindergarten to university in both administration and educational functions. Now looking at administrational functions, so for administrative purposes, school computers are being used in the following ways. You can name some of them, but as you think of them, you'll find that one, they are used for keeping student information and school staff information through a database, which we'll cover in module 6. Printing examination papers and assignments in administration still ICT helps in monitoring accounts using the accounting packages which will be covered in module 4. It helps in school management. School management system with the use of a school database still covered in module 6. Printing, levy and tuition invoices and receipts. Keeping records for school cash flow. Printing school reports and for school documentation. Now when it comes to teaching purposes, ICT is very important because learners get information on their own from the internet if it is available. But these days it is available everywhere on mobile phones. Now ICT helps in administration by making communication quicker and cheaper. ICT also enhances collaborative learning where students can interact and learn with the students abroad. ICT also cuts down the cost of stationery. It saves the transportation cost, for example, in the case of geography, instead of students going to some areas which may be insecure or because the cost may be high, one can get the video of the area and focus on it and there's a discussion in the class so that students can learn much better. ICT helps students to acquire marketable skills. ICT helps in the assessment and analysis of the student's performance. ICT also opens up new opportunities for both the student and teachers for professional development. It is important to note that ICT enhances the teaching of many students in the class. If there are very many, just have a projector, even if there are 500, like the way it is in some schools, they can all listen, and uh, as long as the speakers are there, they will learn much better. So ICT stores and saves information in a simpler way, for example, on a flash disk, on a CD or DVD. Uh, ICT brings a reality into the classroom through uh, virtual reality. ICT is motivating and exciting for both learners and educators. Through ICT, students can now do collaborative projects with many other students in different parts of the world and they all learn much better. Also using some educational software, the teacher becomes a facilitator rather than the source of information as we looked at it in uh, module uh, uh, in, in topic 2 and topic 3. Um, some software also act as tutorials so that people can learn on their own. For example, 
this one which you are using in your in, in, in your studies you'll find that um, you'll only meet the lecturer once but you can learn as much as you can also several simulators that is a kind of software which are designed to give students a better visualization of the real biological process or phenomena without using the real biological or chemical material they are also being used to support learning Computers are being used to develop problem-solving abilities. Programming languages are also being taught in schools. And homework can also be done and submitted electronically using a computer. And several schools are also acquiring what's called CBT, continue, uh, computer-based training, where they can have so many lessons conducted using just computers. So this technology is now becoming common where the learner sits at a computer and interacts with the program. It has so many advantages. Low cost and therefore it can also support um, not only fast learners but even a slow learner because it can be able to replay back and move at its own pace. Two, the learner has the freedom to repeat as many times as he or she wants. And three, the combination of text, video, sound, pictures and animation can improve the rate of assimilation. Now this is the concept of multimedia. The program is also designed in such a way that it monitors students progress and gives feedback. So that is also found to be very very important. But in many schools in different parts of the world, teachers have had their own views about how important computers are and how important ICT is in those places. So most of them s come up and say that some benefits of having computers are that uh, they have helped them to do much better. So let's simply scan through some of um, uh, the views of the teachers. So these comments were given here coming from the teachers themselves and the way they have seen how computers work. So the com comments are that it has made my work easier I can work faster and store things to use again. Another teacher said, I have found using email a greater help. I am responsible for the netball team and it have my time getting hold of everyone else. Another one says, I can present my work better. My mark sheets are now neat and tidy and so are my reports. You also find that uh, um, they enjoy the challenge of the computer and find they have a new enthusiasm for their work. Those are teachers who can enjoy the challenge of the computer and find that they have a new enthusiasm for their work. So one teacher said, I was getting very bored with teaching, but since we got the computers, I feel new areas uh, to explore have been opened up and I'm excited. Another teacher said, I love working on the computer. It is fun and I find out new things all the time. You also find that uh, teachers enjoy the increased control over their preparation and feel greater pride in it as a result and more confidence. So one teacher also said about this, he said, I like making my own worksheets. I can prepare work that is just right for my learners. I feel empowered. Another one said, I can make my work easier to read and more interesting for the learners. I have found out how to make borders and how insert clip art. So another one said, I feel more confident about what I know. I have been able to look up for information that was not available for me before. So more more of the teachers have given comments about how computers are giving them access to information in different ways, such as the Encata. Also teachers feel that their use of computers benefits their learners. So one teacher said, sometimes I set up a data projector and the learners use it to share the, uh, their knowledge by presenting their work to the rest of the class. So I have found a lot of information on good teaching practice and I'm trying 
some new ideas with my learners. Most of the ideas have worked well and lessons have been more interesting for them. Another teacher said, I think my lessons are now more interesting and so learners enjoy them more and learn better. Also, teachers feel learners benefit from using computers themselves. So about this one teacher says, they gain confidence, self-esteem, and renewed motivation. So he says that learners love working on computers. They are much better behaved in the computer center, and the absenteeism rate has dropped. Even schools which have just used the projectors re regularly, students like going to school much more than ever before. So they learn well on the computer. It seems to hold their attention. They especially like the programs that give them feedback and also which show them how things work. They can see and hear things and I cannot show them in an ordinary lesson. Also learners feel empowered. They often know how to do things better than I do and also often know more about the topic than I do. You also find that um, the students learn, uh, the teachers also saying that they learn to work more independently. One teacher says that learners are more in charge of their work. They work more independently and try to solve problems themselves rather than sitting back and waiting for them to help all the time. Also, take note that uh, uh, some teachers have also said that they learn to work collaboratively. So that their students, um, their students are learning to work together to help each other with computer skills and solve problems they encounter together. One teacher also told us about that their world, the world of students broadens. So this is a poor community. Many learners do not even have a TV at home. But at school, now they feel part of the modern world as if they have a chance and some hope of moving forward. Their views have broadened. They have been exchanging information via email with the learners in other parts of the world about life in their country. So this gives them confidence and breaks down the other spirit of inferiority complex. One also said that computers have particularly helped some learners with special needs. She said some of my non-writers have benefited enormously. They find typing much easier than trying to hold a pen and now feel proud of th the way they work and handling their work faster. So, another one has also told us that the computer has had an impact on the school as a whole and on its broader community. He said that we have set up a website about our school. Parents can now keep up to date with what is happening here. We use the computer center after uh, hours to give computer literacy lessons to adults in the community. This has enabled us to earn money and to use our resources for the benefit of the people beyond the school. So in summary, teachers at the school suggested that computers in school can support and enhance teaching and learning. That computers can provide learners with skills that are useful for entry into the workplace or for further study. That computers can improve administrative and management efficiency and also generate funds for the school and support community development. So all these are, are factors which students have shared with and the teachers have also shared with us to show that ICT is very, very important in the school environment and can help teachers do work better. Uh, but we also look at purposes for which teachers and learners use computers 